if you look here, you got a fault sole. See that fault sole that's going on there? And what you have is, looking at here, you've got a lot of um, sole, and you got a heel, but look how far forward your heel is in the conformation of that foot. You've got a heel, you've got a decent angle, but your heel is way too far forward. What we need to do is bring the heel back, because what we what we've in essence have is we've got a good foot, but if you look at the ground surface, we don't have a lot of ground surface relative to how much good hoof we have. If we were to measure the circumference of this now and the circumference of it later, you're going to see that we're going to end up with a big foot. What we often want to have is within reason, the bigger the ground surface, the less pounds per square inch. There is, we don't want to go that there too far, but that's kind of what we want to do. So what we want to do is start figuring out what's going on here. Uh, Now what, I'm, what I really want to do is I want to try to find where the collateral grooves are. That is my landmark. That's probably the landmark that I use more than any single thing on the hoof is the collateral grooves. Once we can determine the collateral grooves, the depth of the collateral grooves, we know that the coffin bone is sitting right on top of the collateral grooves. Um, so by looking at this, even though we're kind of down to some live sole, we don't want to go too crazy here because we want to have some good concavity. What concerns me the most on this horse is the depth of the collateral grooves and the excess heel we have. So I'm not going to try to lower it. It's not my objective. I think that we've got too many toes that are too low. What I want to do is just kind of work on this guy's heel a little bit. 